if you tell someone you play video games every day, you, you imagine there's some nerd just like who eats Doritos and drinks Mountain Dews all day. <laughs> I was at that point once, but before I was like 15, bro. <laughs> I was doing, but I was gaming. I was gaming, gaming. This is my new cat. Her name is Mew. Like the Pokemon. Uh, you just heard her say her name. Faze Barry. Like Barry Allen, the Flash. This is my guy right here. Yo, this cat's clouded though. You search him up on Instagram, at Faze Barry, like B-A-R-R-Y. He's got like 300K. He was in Trippy Red's music video, Black Magic. <laughs> So these are my million subscriber plaques. The first one I got was for FaZe, FaZe Clan, and that was in 2012. So I was, this one's really special to me. Like when we hit a million subscribers, like I remember exactly where I was, but like I remember I was on my phone at, on the live stat and we hit it and I was just like, yes, man, let's go. It was, dude, it was the biggest thing ever. So this is me when I was, uh, I think 11. So I was get, like logging in the computer about to play some Toontown probably at the time. Yeah. This is my gaming setup, editing. This is my PC, it's a digital storm. They hooked me up with this, it's a beast. I think it's like a $5,000 machine. The game that basically blew us up was, uh, or that we blew up with was Modern Warfare 2. It came out November 2009, because that was a game that culturally created uh, this community on, on online and that's what phase was it was a collective of the best snipers in in call of duty and everyone kind of ranged in like different skill sets like i remember the first time i saw someone do a 360 and kill someone as they're falling like in call of duty like my whole world was like flipped upside down i was just like no way you can do this in call of duty the videos that we would always put out it would feel like skate videos like it would be just montages compilations of our best shots of our, our um with dope music behind it a cool edit something smooth After we started making money through YouTube, it was like, okay, what else can we do? And we saw that people were competing in uh, like Call of Duty professionally, and we never, we never got into that, so we, that was an area that we wanted to get into. We found some players, made a team, and then we would pay for their travel to fly out to different events and, and compete in these tournaments. Now we have five different pro teams in Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, Fortnite, PUBG, Rainbow Six, and we have a, a top FIFA player. I think collectively we're around 220 million combined social media following. We have some like athletes that are jumping on board like Ben Simmons. Uh, we have like Lil Yachty, Offset. And so half the brand is based around esports and the other half is lifestyle and content creation. There we go. That's it. That's the setup. I just uh, make videos in my room. Unless I'm sleeping, I'm making videos. I'd wake up at 9, 9.30, gym to about 10, and then do content from like 12 to 6 to 7. There wasn't space for me to like actually make a real office, so I just did like a makeshift, really DIY one. This is our video schedule, so like that's my channel and what I'm posting this week. Jarvis always posting this week and then our second channel. So we do this every Monday and we'd sit here. All Monday we wouldn't film anything, we'll just be creative only and figure out what we're doing. And then this is uh, where we have the meetings every morning. So we'd all get up here and kind of like circle around here. Then the managers, they would talk to us and give us a breakdown of the day, what we're doing this week, next week. But me and my brother each have a channel. Then we have a shared channel. So it's like three channels worth of videos we're making every week and we post like every single day. So it's just like a, a lot of videos. Wow, man, I haven't played Fortnite in honestly, like what seems like a long time. Oh, so this is what you've been doing recently then, Jarvis, going for trick shots on right. Black Ops 2, this classic game. Trust me, just a few more of these and he's gonna lose his mind, man. Oh First God. to find him wins $10,000. Oh my gosh, wait, what? We'll be back again with another video tomorrow. Peace Smash out. That like 
Juju literally gave me this gift the other day and I was like freaking out, man. Like absolutely freaking out. This is a really, really expensive bag. It's really nice too. So thank you again to Juju who gave me this. I got her bathe and eight pillows and some more bags. And like those, those recently, I've really liked these pillows. I want to get some more of these ones. And just like make my whole bed like a, a flower <laughs> or something like that. I don't really know. I mean, I like clothes. So like, I just uh, like a big wardrobe. So I've like collected a lot of clothes, you could say. Because when I moved here, I honestly didn't like have the funds or whatever really, you know, to like, when I was able to, I really, really, really did like going out and buying stuff. It's cliche, but it literally is a dream come true. You don't think about it like that. Cause I, I spend so much time like dedicated to what I'm doing that like I'm blessed. Like literally it's crazy. Like my, my family, my close family, they really do know like what's up and what's going on. But some of my cousins that I don't see too often, they're like, bro, that's nuts. Like you're actually doing this. Like this is really your life. And then it, it makes me think, I'm like, whoa, like this actually is my life now. Like I don't even realize it sometimes. It's, it's crazy, it really is crazy. My life is definitely a lot different than a lot of people from FaZe. On the non-competitive seasons, I'll play anywhere from like five to seven hours a day. Yeah, my name is Nate Hill. I'm a professional Fortnite player for FaZe Clan, and we are at my apartment in Jersey City. I started streaming here. I started playing Fortnite professionally here. One of the perks of living in Jersey City is you get the whole city skyline you're looking out on, where is if you're in New York City, you're looking over at Jersey City, <laughs> so it's not that great. All right, so this is where I play my games, I stream, I got my Christmas tree, because it's always Christmas, and I want to be ready for next year. Right here we got my Newman TLM something or other. It's like a $700 mic, because I like having really good quality stuff. Like my camera is a Sony something or other that's like 1400 bucks, but it's got insane quality. It kind of doubles as my studio mic. Basically every day I'm streaming and I'll start up by getting my OBS set up. I can run you through that. Take the little lens cap off, turn this on, and then I'm on the screen. I got an idea. I might throw. This might be a throw. Nah, it's fine. This is the, the new season, and they put the, the, the highest ranked skin, kind of looks like me, and they also put a giant gold statue in one of the places in the, in, the, in the map that is this skin, but it's like gold, and they also put glasses on it, and it, it looks just like me, man. So I'm trying to capitalize on that a little bit here, too. I went to Chicago with no money in my bank account at, at all. I was basically risking everything to go to this tournament and hopefully win and somehow or other, I won, took it home, and this is kind of where my entire Fortnite career started. Like, it gave me the confidence to keep going and know that I can do it. Seabass was one of the original phase guys. He found me playing a Fortnite tournament where I was kind of popping off, and he just messaged me one night and is like, yo, you, you got a second to talk about phase? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> 100%, because phase was always in my top three orgs that I would, I would sign with. So FaZe is very interested in, in fashion and lifestyle and stuff outside of gaming that I am as well. I think FaZe was the perfect fit for me. We're really scratching the surface of where this is headed and where this is gonna be. And it's no longer not cool to play video games. It's like. Like FaZe is a family, so we, we take it very serious. We, we're always taking care of our guys. We're always making sure that they're good, they're happy, and that they're working towards the things that they want to work towards and staying on that track.